Okay, this is me just leaving uh, Loomis. So, I'm going to be turning right onto the, uh, the 272. And I'm going to see how many of the old, um, what do you call it, speed cameras are along here. So we're just uh, just going to hang about for a minute while we wait for the lights to change. <clears throat> so there's a lot of traffic about here. I not realise there's quite so much traffic. But, um, oh, my ears are just cut out. That's not a lot of good, is it? Um, who's going? Whose turn is it? Is it ours or is it theirs? No, it's theirs. So I think it's going to go round and we've got, still got a bit of a wait before we, um, we manage to get away. So, here we go then, I'm just going to take a steady old ride along here uh, and see how many of these speed cameras I can capture. There's the first one. Okay, so there's number one and that's literally just as you turn right um, from Loomis. So we're just going to take a nice steady run along here. I ain't going to tear the horse out of it. I ain't going to go mad. Just going to stick to sort of 45, 50. I can see the next camera coming up already. So this is a national speed limit, so it's 60 effectively. But I've only been doing 50, so I'm not taking the mic off at all. So there's, there's the second one. It looks like there's a, there's a set of traffic lights and a, a bit of road works along here somewhere. Oh, that's interesting. So they, they've got the lights up and there's, there's, they're not working. And there's another camera. So that's three. That's three cameras before you get to the bridge. And they're pointing both ways. So they get you both ways. So... If you're coming down to 272 to Loomis, just take it steady, lads, because the last thing you want to do is get captured. Now, I have heard tell that there are people that come down, and what they do is they put tape over their uh, number plates <laughs> so they don't get caught. But it's, uh, yeah. So here's a really nice bend, I mean you can take this at really good speed. It used to be able to come steep down here and it was lovely. It used to be a terrific road uh, for, for giving it some. And obviously, I mean, people that can't handle the machines end up getting, um, getting hurt. But, I mean, just look at this for a biking road that they put a 50 mile an hour speed limit on. Which, I mean, you can see why, but and there's there's a there's a fourth camera, so that's four cameras. So there's three before the bridge and one just after the bridge. Now here's a long straight, so you come round the twisty bit, and um, this is this is where you can get caught out. This is where you can probably get caught out because you come round the straights, you think you. You, you're you on a man TT and you, you wind it up and you give it a big handful. Yet you've still got, like, well, there's four cameras. So there's three before and, and one after the bridge. And then you come down here and you've got another, another lovely bend. So you move over and you take it. Oh, look at that. Lovely smooth bend. Now the road surface doesn't seem too bad. However, it's a 50, and look, they're warning you there's cameras. 
So I was talking to some guys in the CAF and they reckon that uh, these cameras have only been put up in the last few months. Well, I have heard that uh, from, from several sources and now I can confirm that yes, there are cameras on, on two of the approaches to Loomis. So coming up on the 32, um, I saw two just uh, about a mile or so out and I mean just look at this road this is just a lovely bit of road to uh, to get it on and it looks like there's another camera just before the bending yeah so there's camera number five just before the bend now that one there are people saying that the they may have some of these cameras that have got uh, sound sensors on. So the last thing you want to do is get captured, not only for speeding, but for having a really noisy motorbike. There we go, now we're coming into a 40, so we'll just bring it down nice and steady along here. No need to rush. I mean, the roads are lovely, windy bendies anyway, so it's giving you a nice full gym here. And there we go, nice and but nice twisties for half a mile. But it's only a 40. So bear in mind, lads and lasses, it's just a 40 along this bit of road. Um, now you have to watch it because this is a downhill and it's a lovely, look, just look at this. This is just a biker's dream. But if you're doing over 40, there's a camera at the top and I'm almost sure there's going to be one down here. So, there you go, let's have a look for it. So, just to ease you off again, because when I mean, you do pick up a little tiny bit of speed coming down there now, we're coming into Langrish uh, and we're out of drop it down further. And you just know there's going to be another camera around here somewhere. You just know that they're trying to catch you. They're just trying to get money off of you. I mean, life's tough as it is without having to pick up blooming fines for, uh, for riding your motorbike a little bit quick on these lovely, lovely little roads that are designed for motorbikes. The nice bendy, twisty bits are great. Now, so we're just coming up the hill out of Langrish. Just need to keep the throttle down a bit. Thing I want to do is get captured. I don't know what's going on here. It's all coming to a stop. Why is it stopping? That's the question. Is there a set of lights or something around the corner? There's no lights on this road that I know of. So why, why are they stopping us here? Ah, I see. Single file traffic. So there's, there's some roadworks. I can just see it around the corner there. We're just waiting for, I guess, a set of lights to change. There we go, we've got to change, so hopefully we'll be able to get through on this one. On this change of the lights. So now we look, we're in a 30. So, and there goes the 40. So we've got some road works going on here at the moment, but um, I don't know what they're doing. It looks like they're cutting trees or something. Could, could be cutting trees down. Just cutting the trees back. So, I don't know. Um, so, how many cameras did we see? Was it six? So, there's a lot of cameras down this little stretch of road. Now, I don't want you being, being caught out. So just bear in mind, if you're coming in off the, the M3 or the A3 the A on the 272 to Loomis, 
just bear in mind you've got some cameras just off the language. Now we're coming in Shrewd, and this is a 30. So we're just coming into a 30. So we just need to keep it down because you, you know that there's going to be more cameras knocking around. So it, it can't be just sort of um, the four roads uh, in and out of uh, Loomis. So you've got the 32 and the 272. That's the junction where Loomis is. Coming up on the, the, the 32, I saw two cameras. I'm coming away from Loomis on the 272 towards Petersfield. I've seen um, five or six cameras. I'm just waiting to see where the, where the next one is before I get to uh, the M3. The, is it the M3 or the A3, A3 that goes into the A3M? Still only got still only 30 along here. So we just have to behave ourselves. Um, and look at this, this is this is what motorcycling is all about. Nice little twisty roads where you can see how much gear is on there. So that was a 30 and now we're coming to national speed limit. Now the national speed limit is 60 miles an hour. Don't get caught out thinking it's 70 because as far as I'm aware, it ain't. And this is all not look, this is a nice bit of road. This is this is all nicely been laid all the time uh, in the last couple of years. So here we go, we're just coming up to uh, to the A3. Boom! So there you go guys. That is the trip from Loomis up to the M3. I'm just going to dive around here and jump onto the, uh, the A3. There you go. I hope you, uh, you take a, a warning. So until later, TT events. That's half an hour.